Welcome. Potionomics. For some unknown reason, there are three or four potion-based business simulations out there. This one's on sale on Steam, so we're going to give it a try. Start a new game. My dear Sylvia. Greetings from Rafta. I've built my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. I am going to warn you, there is a lot of text at the beginning of this thing. I'm among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven, the Witch King, fell in battle. Love to your mother, tell your father you still owes me money, your Uncle Oswald. Next postcard. Thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. <laughs> anyway, keep at it. It warms my heart to think you may follow in your old uncle's footsteps. My potion shop is finally a reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Uncle Oswald. In loving memory. Okay, so this has taken a turn. If you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia. Don't let this be the end of my shop, the end of my dream. Come to Rafta. Accept your inheritance and show this town what our family is capable of achieving. Dearly departed. Oswald. Then we get a, lo a letter from the lawyers. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of his will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. Given the island's remote location and unusual history, such an inheritance must be claimed in person. We hope this inheritance offers you some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's a certain it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Oh, here we go. <laughs> impressive. Prepare only your strongest potions, potion seller. This place isn't all I hoped for. But this could still work. I can make it work. Air it out a bit, chase off the bird. Good thing I have a broom. Forgive me for the intrusion. Mysterious witch, yes. I wasn't expecting the opportunity to act on Oswell's will so soon. I'm Helen. Helene? You're Sylvia, right? We have come... Because we have business to discuss, but first, I should offer my consolaces on the loss of your uncle. Thanks, but I really didn't know him that well. All the same, it's a pity, particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. And his designated heir, responsibly for that debt, now falls to you. I didn't know that's how it worked, but I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? What? I think you'd prefer to set up a payment plan. But that's so much gold. I could build five shots with that much gold. What in the world did he spend it on? Mismanaged it, judged by the appearances. Uh, if you'd like to look it over. The fine print is a very fine. What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and this shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property. And will be legally obligated to work for us until such time you deemed all your debts were paid. That sounds bad. I'm confident that you have everything you need to succeed. I'll get you started. Sell me this old potion so I can be your first patron. It truly is an old potion, too. Let's see. So Helen, the stoic attorney. Straight hottie as well. Blend your way through an attempt to raise interest in the potion. 
quail in your attempt to raise interest in Boshin. Attempt to raise interest in the Boshin. Not exactly the most powerful of decks. Let's, uh, blunder. Let's fail, or flail. End my turn. <laughs> She's, uh, unimpressed. If in hand at the end of the turn, increase stress by 20. Yikes. If in hand by the end of the turn, increase stress by 20. All right. Apparently, I'm not very good at this. Too stressed to function. All right. So they just want you to understand the end state of negotiations. We have 10 days until the payment is due. I'll be seeing you. Good luck. 10 days. Keep that in mind. Of course, this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I going to do? <laughs> a oh ow my hip i mean hoot hoot <laughs> i heard that you can talk well of course i can you must be new here this is rafta where the strange is commonplace which makes it not strange and the birds are chatty I live here, actually, if you call it living. Eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here in the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, he never mentioned me. How strange. Perhaps he was just too embarrassed to admit how integral I was to his shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of the whole operation. My name is Owl. Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. <laughs> anyway, it's nice meeting you, but I'm getting the first boat out of here. No, you don't want to do that. I saw what happened. That lo lawyer is soul binding me. She'll be able to track you to the ends of the globe. Miss a single payment, and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years. Change to a cubicle till you've worked off your debt. There's no way I can make enough by selling potions. Maybe through the traditional route, but you were right at a fortuitous time. Five competitions taking place over the next 50 days in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. First competition right here. So what is this? Three potions, tier two each. Health, mana... Like, that's probably mana. That's definitely health. And this is some sort of boost initial prize money is 10,000 grant oh 10,000 money that's nice 10,000 gold win the first competition you automatically qualify for the next one for which prices will even be better and just look at that juicy grand prize win all five competitions and you'll have the money you need to get the debtor off your back oh exactly 1 million you really think we got a shot at this Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm the brains. Alright then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Owl. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions and make some money. Let's do some... Potionomics! It's the title of the game, by the way. Potion brew an extra two slot times overnight. Good to know. All right. A new study highlighted the benefits of daily health potions in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. Ooh. Cleaned with a place a bit. Let's craft some potions. Head over to the cauldron and get brewing. Brew. Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around the cauldron. You went to school for this after all. 
I learned how to make pretty much any potion you think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle a little basic stuff before they'll let me brew more advanced options. And that options, I meant potions. Ha <laughs> I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in lots of hours at the cauldron. Well, you certainly got your hours. Starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew. I better go over my notes from college just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. Two different magical infused ingredients, at minimum. Combined in a heated cauldron, every ingredient contains one or more cargo-coded and letter-assigned Magimins? Magimins? I don't know how to say that. It's probably going to come up a lot. Wherever magic has mar left its mark on the world, you'll find these Magimins, magical creatures, mystical plants, even the rocks. Heating an ingredient releases it, contained within, infusing your potion. For that reason, a potion-specific recipe is bet thought of a specific combination. The ingredient is only the Vestal. Oh, okay. So, yeah, right. Ratios are important too. Oh boy. If you balance the Magimins out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. Alright, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Sounds like a lot, but it's simple once you get the hang of it. One step at a time. Got to put the ingredients in the cauldron to make a potion. Are we doing that yet? Nope. Can't go wrong with health potions. And I have that recipe mes mesmerized. Health potions require a combination of red and green... Magi men? I'm gonna go with Magi men. Alright, so let's make some of this. Oh, it's capping us out at six. No, it's not. Let's get the lid on and set it to brew. Takes two time units. I'm guessing each one of these slots is a time unit. So somewhere in here, it should be ready. Nothing left to do but to let it cook. Potion should be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Except. Arrange. Are you going to make me drag and drop these? Good. Now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. The shelf on which you put a potion will affect the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming but we can invest in better ones later. Open the store and sell some potions. Hopefully this goes better than yesterday. Keep the basics in mind. Okay, haggling. Trying to get the highest price from the customer. We want to increase their interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. But they have a patience. If we if they lose patience with us, they'll leave without making a purchase. Then the, co the customers also try to negotiate with us, which increases our stress. 
And if we get too stressed out, we already know what happens in that case. Here we go. I saw a dragon yesterday. This looks pretty great if the price is right. All right, so this is a combination situation. We're going to set them up. Oh, reel them in. And then since we're out of cards at our hand, we're going to brace ourselves against their counter to negotiations. She's thinking that she's going to hit us with two complaints. And we shielded ourselves against two complaints. So our shield is gone. But we didn't take any stress. I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. What? No, it's too bad. We've got patience where we could do another setup. Uh, another reel in and then close out but they just want us to do the close out so we're still in um tutorial mode it's gonna be a great day i can feel the magic coming off of this one we don't want to close out quite this early so really all we can do is reel them in and then brace in turn. Wow, we got three reel them ins. Any more and he would lose patience. And if we end our turn, he'll lose patience. So we'll just close out. Gloomy craftsman. I had a dream this place was condemned. I had my doubts, but I thought at least I'd ask about this one. All right, so we can think to draw one card, which is odd because it cost us a card to get a card. Oh, raise interest by four if opener applies, set them up. Uh, I should probably just brace myself in turn. He's doubling our stress. Okay, set him up. Raise interest if the opener, which this is definitely the opener. First card in the round. Let's see if we can draw a halfway decent card. Eh, we'll just close it out. Nine interest. That'll get us up to the next level. Have a nice day. That's all of them for now. That didn't go so badly. If I could offer you a small suggestion, in negotiation, sometimes it's best to move. The best move to make is when you haven't thought about it yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. Now, see, that's better than thinking, because thinking is one card for one card. This is three cards for two patients. I can be a little diabolical if I have to be. I look forward to seeing an action, but that's enough for now.
Back to work. Health potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. We made two health potions. Minor. Perfect brew. Make some more for the night shift. Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. Not that it's green, but the essence of it is green. The essence of this is yellow. Let's make those mana potions. All right. Let's pump up the heat and speed up the process. Ah, so if you add fuel to a thing, you can make it go faster. Feed up to three pieces of fuel to fire to really boost up the speed. Different fuel gives you more heat, which means it'll go faster. They've got a little bit of hay in there. So it's going to take us three, but if we put in the hay, it'll only take us two. Open the shop for the sale of those new health potions. Think about your haggling strategy. <clears throat> I think this is where we extend to the deck builder part of the game. Yep. Here are your cards on this page. These are haggling skills that you have to begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tip I've taught you. New haggling techniques appear as you learn them. To avoid, to add new techniques to your active date, you'll need to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it. Then you'll be able to click on a card to add it to your deck. I think we should take out the think cards and replace them with skiing cards. Oh, and we have to fill the deck, unfortunately. All right, so we're going to have to have two of these in here. Until we get some better cards. Arrange those potions. Ooh, those are more valuable than the ones we made before. Open shop will take two slots, then these mana potions will be done. Traveling and socializing always takes time. My day suck, don't ask. Jeez. All right, we got to use set them up first. Then we'll draw three cards reel them in if I play this does it in my turn automatically no it doesn't yeah I don't think we have time to do anything else so we'll just close that one out I had three patients left. It's two to end the turn. That leaves you with one. I really couldn't take any actions except to close out, so might as well just close out. Are you spy from your uncle? I see the talent runs in the family. Looks pretty great, if the price is right. Price sensitive customers. I think we need to do reel them in. Reel them in. 
in turn. Set him up. Scheme. Oh man, we gotta all brace yourselves. Let's just close out. Don't forget about those mana potions. There's still time to sell them before the day is over. Let's bottle them up. Minor mana potion. Perfect brew. Sell these in the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a set of mana potions. This time, we'll kick it up a notch. We've got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that will push our potion up to the next tier. Ooh. Let's drop these in and make some real potions. So right now, we're at 0 of 60, and I see. So there's five stars. And then if we go above that, it's the next tier of potion. Okay. 18 yellow, 18 green, and then a little fuel to go with it. Yeah, each one of these is actually... Wait, is that 18, 18? Oh, okay, so the 18 in the yellow, this is the total mag magimens. Gotcha. Since this is 18, when I add this, it'll add 18 to this list. Then I add this, now it's in perfect ratio. And I'm only making one, but if I make it stronger... Now I'm in tier two, and I'm making two potions. So you make more and higher quality at the same time. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit in one last haggling session. All right, in order to do that, We need to arrange our potions. Return and open. If this place is good enough for local heroes, I'm into it. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Think we'll... Reel them in. Oh, I can't double click these. Reel them in. Reel them in. Um, if I draw this card and it's a scheme, that could be good. Let's try it. Yeah. We might be able to get the price up a bit more. Set it up. Set up. And close out.
brace myself here. Gonna be short, but still pretty good. And we're out of potions. I think I could get the hang of this. What's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. Are you invoking squatters' rights? Because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in the trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird-looking mildew in the corner, did you? I was saving that for later. I think there's been some, some mistake. My name is Sylvie. I just inherited this place. Yeah, just like where... Just when you sure you're condemned building you <laughs> just when you think you know a condemned building when you see one but maybe your rival isn't all bad news you obviously have some kind of potion witch skills as it happens i've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients you know like the kind of stuff you'd use to make potions you should kick some business my way sure I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call my move... Oh, I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Oh, new card. All right. Raise interest by eight at the start of a customer's turn. Cost you one. Plant seed for three turns. Ooh. So if you have the ability to keep the encounter going longer, this could be worth up to 24 interest. I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. Ooh, let's be excited to get to know you. I'm excited to know you. Maybe we can hang out. I'm not really big on hanging out. But, I don't know. I could maybe make an exception for you. Either way, I'll see you around. Check the tier star rating for the recommended potions. You know what? I think we're going to call it there. That's just enough for you to get a taste of it on the main channel. And like I said, or like I meant to say, I'll make sure it's in the thumbnail. This is currently on sale. So give it a shot. I think we'll play it over the, we'll play it more on the arcade channel. And we'll at least see how the first competition goes. Um, maybe we won't play the whole thing. I'll, if it shows up on the arcade channel, it means we're at least going to do the first competition. If we're feeling froggy, then we'll jump into the whole game. But for now, thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.